Hello, sparkling ones, and welcome to week four. This is our last week. Can you believe it? We're almost there. Aren't you proud of yourself? You should be. Yeah, we've done good. <laughs> Let me see if I can share my screen here. So, what did you think of the information on week three? Did you have a favorite day? What was your biggest takeaway from this week? Anyone? I think my fave was day 19 with all the essential blends and I loved day 20 with all the pet recipes. I'm sure you had a favorite too. So I'm really excited about what you and your family are beginning to experience and about what it means to cleanse our lives. As we learned, our health is so important. And in this modern era, it's becoming too easy to cut corners with harmful products that contain toxins and that are even ineffective. So they're harm harmful and ineffective, really. Why do we even use them? <laughs> But since I know you're like me and your family means everything to you, I know you're truly motivated to ensure that they're safe and healthy. And that's why this information is so important, right? It's gonna ensure that our homes are a place that is toxic free and filled with vitality. And, and that's, what, that's what we hope for. So I've really been looking forward to this final week where we'll get an opportunity to cleanse our mind. <laughs> During this week, we're gonna dig into safe and effective ways to handle stress, as well as strategies that will take our self-esteem to a new level in order to live the type of lifestyle that we desire, because really, self-esteem means so much in our lives. But of course, before we begin considering what we're going to cover this upcoming week, as always, I have to mention this, and please note that it applies to everything that I'll be sharing. It's the official FDA disclaimer that states that the statements haven't been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent disease, and we strongly encourage you to educate yourself on the nutritional and scientific facts. So, on day 22, um, since it's our final week together, I'm going to dig into a subject which uh, often makes or breaks it for most people when it comes to achieving their goals and aspirations in life. That space between our ears, right, is the control panel. Um, and as it becomes the impetus to take action or to remain stagnant. So it's very important for us to handle that stuff that's going on in between <laughs> these two years. <laughs> but there's also a lot of negative health consequences with significant levels of stress. And since we're on a journey to cleanse our life, then we have to make a pit stop and include our mind, right? So that's why, um, this week, we're going to consider cleansing the mind so that the cleanse will be complete. It'll take care of everything. Now, one essential ingredient um, to calming our mind is doTERRA's emotional aromatherapy system. Um, this system is amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. It's a revolutionary organization of aromatic plant families around a continuum of emotions for a simple but profound approach to using fragrant essential oils in emotional aromatherapy applications. So the individual essential oils can be used with really great effectiveness um, by people who are skilled aromatherapists, but doTERRA makes it simple and easy for us and accessible really for anyone you don't have to be a aromatherapy specialist so anyone dealing with common negative emotions 
um, they now have access to this new proprietary essential oil line of blends that represent the six categories of emotional well-being. Um, and each delicate blend contains CPTG, Certified Pure Ther Therapeutic Grade Essential Oils, right? We've already learned how important that is. Um, and they can be used aromatically and topically to help balance them right in our changing moods and just a few drops of these beautiful naturally complex fragrant blends can elicit profound emotional responses to help us let go of our burdens and find comfort and encouragement or to inspire us to dream with passion again for those days when we're just feeling low um, this right here works wonders so I'm going to tell you a little bit about the kit you see them behind me there's the um, five milliliter bottles that um, can be used in a diffuser and then we have the wonderful roll-ons that you can just carry in your purse or in your backpack or whatever bag that you use um, with your daily um, care kit this is just a great little kit to take with you um, and have it with you at, at all times because our emotions change constantly don't they <laughs> okay so I'm going to tell you a little bit about that kit and the different oils that are found in them so this kit includes the doTERRA motivate I love this oil <laughs> when you're needing feelings of confidence and courage to replace negative emotions like guilt and pessimism, then doTERRA Motivate encourage, is, it, is called the Encouraging Blend. And it's a blend of mint and citrus essential oil. So when you need some motivation, this is the one to grab. The next one we're going to talk about is, let's see, where is it? Oh, my cheer blend. I don't know where it rolled off to. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> my cheer blend. I love my cheer blend. This blend is a sunshiny, it has a sunshiny, optimistic aroma. That's the only way that I can explain it. Um, it smells so good. And this one counteracts negative emotions and provides a boost of happiness and positivity when you're feeling down. So this one also is a very good one to have with you on those just blue days where you need a little bit of cheering up. Grab your cheer blend. Um, the next one we're going to talk about is oh, this one. <laughs> I love them all. I'm sorry. I love all of them. <laughs> this one is doTERRA Passion. I love this one. These, This is great. I know Passion kind of gives you another idea and it can be used for that too, but that's not the kind of passion I'm talking about right now. <laughs> this doTERRA Passion is great when you have feelings of boredom or disinterest takes over. Just not only in our sex life but in in our life when we don't have a passion for living then this blend works wonders it's called the inspiring blend and it's going to help you rekindle feelings of excitement and passion and joy we all need a little bit of that sometimes don't we <laughs> So the next one we're going to talk about is our Forgive Blend. This one has a fresh, mm, I love this one. It has a fresh woody aroma, kind of like you're in a forest. Um, and this one's called the Renewing Blend. So it helps to counteract emotions of anger and guilt while promoting the liberating feelings of contentment relief and patience patience sometimes we need that that forgive <laughs> in order to forgive we have to be learn to be patient with people yeah this one's awesome and it works quick <laughs> so i grab for this one a lot <laughs> i've 
be honest. Um, and then I love this one too. This is our console blend. This one is called our comforting blend. It uses sweet floral and tree essential oils to promote feelings of comfort and putting you on a hopeful path of emotional healing. So sometimes we need to be consoled and this essential oil helps that process move along. So if you're in need of consolation um, and you want to get back on a hopeful path and emotional healing, then grab for the console blend. And our last one, last but not least, is our doTERRA Peace Blend. This one is called our Reassuring Blend. It promotes feelings of contentment and composure and reassurance when we have anxious feelings that overwhelm us and our emotions. So this one's also lovely. The whole set is beautiful. Um, so let me know if you have any questions on this, on these kits. Um, and please feel free to message me if you'd like to purchase the kit. The kit is definitely um, one of my favorites. It's also an enrollment kit. So if you haven't enrolled yet, this would be a good place to start if you're interested in aromatherapy and especially our emotion line. Um, and as as you saw, um, it comes in a very convenient roller ball. So nice little, let's see, nice, nice little metal roller ball. So you don't even have to get it on your fingers or anything. You just roll it on. Um, I like to apply it where I feel the stress. So if it's my shoulders or the back of my neck, or sometimes when you feel your heart heavy, you can just apply it right over your heart and and then inhale deeply and you'll find that those feelings start calming down and your emotions will go back into place. So I really like the roller balls. They're easy to transport. They can be kept in your purse or your backpack. I carry mine with me all the time. Um, and it's really, really a special package. One of my favorites, actually. I think it's the one that I use every single day, every day either the cheer or the peace or the forgive or every single day I pull out one of these emotional oils. So I encourage you, if you haven't gotten your hands on it yet, to do so soon. You won't be sorry. Okay, we're also going to talk this week about um, gratitude and living in gratitude, right? Um, gratitude is a state of pure bliss where we give ourselves permission to focus on all that we have. Sometimes we don't do that, right? We focus on the negative, but we don't focus on the abundance that we live in and the opportunities that lie ahead. And so gratitude is a place where all of the challenges in our life can become diluted and we feel empowered to do something meaningful that's driven by our passion. Um, it's also when we feel fortunate and we remain in a positive mindset. And isn't that important? And sometimes, as I mentioned, we um, focus on the negative and the things that are going wrong in our life. And we tend not to remember all the good things that we can be grateful for. So um, this week, we're gonna ask you to think about what you're grateful for right now and what makes your life feel, feel like it's filled with abundance. Um, and things like, what do you find exciting and invigorating? What can't you live without? When you focus on these things, when those negative feelings come and you start focusing on all that we have to be grateful for, then it really brings you to another level. Uh, because as I mentioned, so many people focus on their failures and their struggles and they ignore their victories and their milestones. All the victories and milestones that have taken place, even the small ones are important. So we're gonna, um, one, of, one of the days um, this week, we're gonna talk about um, being filled with gratitude and, and um, 
what makes us feel abundant. So if you can share those things, give you a little while to think about them and post them on the focus group. We'd love to hear your comments or read your comments. Okay, on day 24, we're going to be talking about how to become emotionally strong, right? I hate seeing people who have so much potential to live with joy, abundance, gratitude, and success, but they seem to be walking around with a dark cloud over their head and a dreaded place because their emotions are ruling their lives, right? I'm sure it's happened to all of us. I know it's happened to me. Um, and it's so unfortunate because we all have natural gifts that we can contribute and, and receive, yet we often feel stuck and frustrated, right? Overwhelmed kick, kicks in and doubt emerges and then fear debilitates us. Um, and and it's frustrating to see these beautiful people seek out solutions um, and be introduced to harmful and ineffective tools that lead to even more discomfort, right? You go to a doctor or, or some healthcare practitioners and they're like, we'll give you a pill because you're feeling down. Um, and sometimes those are very harmful and ineffective tools to use. So I believe that there's a better, more natural, non-toxic way and you deserve more. So we're going to talk about some of those other options that you have when you're feeling low. So my goal during this week um, for us is to share specific strategies and protocols that will make us emotionally strong as i mentioned this is something that i have to work on continuously we all do right because it's not all flowers and roses and candy <laughs> and um we can't always have our rose colored glasses on so um but there's an interesting blog post that talks about the science of emotional aromatherapy that i think that you'll find interesting um and we'll discuss what to do when um, you've lost your peaceful feelings so and the challenges that come with that so i hope that you'll enjoy that information because it's important to create happiness right starting with ourselves and if we do it on a molecular level um, and we aim to think bigger and lead happier lives and families and embrace happiness on a global scale imagine what could happen so what i'm proposing obviously is not a new solution right it's centuries old it's something that's been used for many many years um and i think you know if everyone found inner peace with sustainably sourced essential oils then collaborated together and bring global emotional satisfaction and balance it would it would be such a wonderful thing um, and when you think about the oils one drop of oil has 40 trillion molecules For, okay 40 million trillion molecules one drop of oil um, that can really affect our emotions so why not try that as a solution um, instead of maybe popping something else just a thought <laughs> one of my favorite essential oil recipes that helps bring peace um, into my life is my feelings of sadness protocol so we'll be sharing that with you this week it, it contains wild orange lemon essential oil or elevation um, placing it on your chest, balance, the balance uh, essential oil blend um, to be placed on your feet, and then also a drop on your solar plexus or under, underneath your ribs. 
Um, and if you're not emotionally strong on a molecular level, then even if you're in a room full of your favorite things um, and your favorite people, you're going to feel very little joy, which is crazy, right? Um, so we want you to find your bliss and find your joy and find excitement again. And the oils are going to inspire and empower you and trigger those cherished memories and create new a newfound sense of emotional freedom. And that's what we want for you, right? Um, we're also going to ask you to think about what makes you feel emotionally weak and what makes you feel emotionally strong. And we'll find some uh, protocols that we can use when those things happen. When you're feeling strong, make us feel even stronger. And when we're feeling weak, raise up those levels. So we'll be talking about that this week. Also, we're going to talk about why do you do what you do, right? The first and most important strategy whenever you're about to make a change is to dig into that emotional place that's motivating you in the first place, right? Why is change vital? Like, why do you want to make a change, right? We, we, when we started this cleanse, we talked about that. Thinking about your why, what's motivating you to make changes, right? It's what's going to keep you going when whenever everything inside tells you to quit. Your why is the reason you get out of bed in the morning with momentum. Your why is what's going to guarantee that your goal becomes real um, and that you never lose sight of it. Your why is your story, right? So if your goal is to lose weight, then your why might have something to do with experiencing life as an overweight child um, and how you were made fun of. And so you want to do so, you're ready to do something about that now. Or if your goal is to have a healthy family, then your why might be watching your parents suffer due to poor lifestyle conditions. Or if your goal is to improve your energy, your why might be because you miss precious milestones in your children's life because you were too exhausted because of toxic overload. So I'm just sharing some examples to kind of get your thought processes moving. Um, but we're going to ask you to figure out what's your why? Why is your goal insanely important to you? Um, and then once we gain access to our story, then it's good to write it down, to record it on an audio or a video, draw a picture, or do something so that we never forget our ultimate motivation to transform. When we do that, if we do forget, we can go back and listen to it or watch the video or read what we wrote and re-motivate ourselves as to why it was time to make that change. Okay, we're also going to talk this week about the importance of mastering stress in our life. Important, right? A lot of times when I do classes and I ask people what are their top three goals that they'd like to accomplish, eating better is always on the list, exercising is always on the list, and stress, managing stress channeling stress, being able to master <laughs> the stress in our life, right? It, it can become our greatest asset if we shift our, pers our perspective from lack to opportunity. So some stress is good, right? It motivates us, it gets us excited and gets us moving. Um, but sometimes we have so many stresses on a daily basis, right? Our finances, our health, our relationships, our career, we can go on and on, right? There's a long list of things that stress us out. But if instead of having stress controlling our existence, we shift gears and went on the offensive, then what, right? Um, maintaining a positive mood and attitude, it can be challenging at times, right? Because life gets pretty stressful, especially when we're trying to multitask and we have a lot of things going on at the same time, which for most of us, that's life, right? Um, but 
chances are that even though we're managing several tasks at the same time and and we live in this fast-paced environment we're often experiencing negative moods such as stress and discouragement and fatigue on top of everything that we have to do so that makes it pretty difficult to handle um, just like being in a good mood gives you a sense of happiness and well-being bad moods can also lead to negative feelings over time so when it comes to managing our moods essential oils can help restore your emotional balance and improve your overall attitude in any situation um, so we're going to share with you an article from doTERRA about which essential oils help us to deal with stress i think you'll find that very interesting um, it was from one of our living magazines um, that talked about how to make over our mood. So I think you'll find that interesting. Um, and I'm also going to share some of my favorite diffuser blends that will help you manage stress. One of them is called Escape. It contains bergamot, essential oil, lime essential oil, and sandalwood essential oil. There's another one called Stressless. That one has lavender, clary sage, ylang ylang, and marjoram in that blend. Uh, there's another one called the Zen. <laughs> that one contains lavender and vetiver. There's another blend called Take It Easy. Uh, this is really good. It's lavender, cedarwood, wild orange, and ylang ylang. Um, and one called Positive Attitude. That one contains cypress, frankincense, and ylang ylang. So I look forward to hearing what you thought about those blends. I hope you try them out. So then we're gonna talk about how to sustain our motivation, right? Because we've, in these four weeks, we've made some transformations. Um, and we're starting to look at life a little differently, right? Through different eyes. Um, we're seeing toxins differently and the products that we use in our home and for our families, the things that we put into our body. Hopefully we're looking at those things with different eyes. Um, you've uh, hopefully felt a connection with the other people in the focus group. Um, that are like-minded like you and who want to make a change and we're looking to cleanse. Um, hopefully you feel healthier than you did before. Your family is feeling healthier, is vital and full of energy and life with all the changes that you've already started to make. And your home is sparkling and uh, void of, to of toxins, right? Or we're working towards that goal. So there's been a lot of changes taking place throughout this month. but. There might be a looming fear that all of this is going to change, that it's going to come crashing down when our motivation wears out, right? So what do we do after the 30 days? And we don't have a focus group to check in with and a webinar to listen to. So I want you to know that it's okay. You've established a new norm for yourself and the old toxic you is gone right something from the past or on its way out um and it doesn't define define the person that you are today we've learned so much um about how to remove toxins and and this week learning about how to clear out our mind and build ourselves up so it doesn't define the person that we are today anymore we've made a choice to make changes in our life and we're on a entirely new trajectory in our life the way that we sustain our motivation is by remaining connected not only to this group um, but also staying aware of the importance of living a clean lifestyle and always focusing on your why that's the most important thing right we can motivate ourselves if we remind ourselves why we're doing this so are you with me <laughs> Are you ready to sustain your motivation? Are we going to keep this going even after this focus group ends? I hope so. I look forward to hearing from you um, and you letting me know 
how it's going for you. I truly, truly hope that you stay in touch even after this focus group is over. Okay, um, on day 28, we're gonna discuss a little bit about our feelings, how it's going, um, what's life been like in the past 28 days, that if have you seen any significant transformations, um, I'd love to hear any of your stories. And I encourage you to spend time thinking about um, the things that you've committed to and, and even comment on the focus group and let us know what your biggest transformations are because I've loved being on this journey with you. And so I hope that you continue to share um, share your stories about your continued journey because the journey doesn't end here, right? It's gonna continue. And then day 29 is gonna be a day of reflection, right? Uh, we're gonna reflect on our um, evolution, on our journey together. We're gonna start back at the beginning of the process and then um, talk a little bit about where we are today. I love that we've had the opportunity to, to do this together. It's been very encouraging to know that I'm not doing this alone and I'm really excited for all of you. Your commitment um, has pushed me to up my game and I'm even more enthusiastic than ever before about serving people who are ready to make a change so you've been an encouragement to me too I hope I've that you felt that this information has been useful and that it's helped you because of course that's that's my heart's desire to help people and to share the wonderful things that I've learned um, about essential oils and and the mind-body connection and all the wonderful things that we can do when and that can happen for us when we take care of our bodies and our families um, and we even talked about how to take care of our pets so what a wonderful thing that we've been able to share this time together okay Hey, sparkly ones, before we end, I want to remind everyone that our last seminar will be held on Friday, March 31st at 7 p.m. We'll be wrapping up our 30-day cleanse and discussing our biggest takeaways from the focus group. Your, I'd love to hear your favorite parts and what you continue to plan to what you plan to continue to incorporate the things that you've learned in your life as well as uh, I'll be discussing with you more learning opportunities uh, that we'll be sharing uh, on our, with our spark, Sparkling Life Oils team. So we hope that you will join us for that. So thanks bunches for joining us this week. Remember, I'm happy to answer any questions you have about using essential oils for you, for your family, because this truly is my ultimate passion. I love having a chance to share something that's made such a difference in my life. So if you have any questions, you can reach me by email or private message me on Facebook and I'd be happy to schedule a time when we can chat personally. Also, I hope that you'll stay tuned to my social media site for some great essential oil tips and recipes. Thank you again for spending this time with me. We'll see you in the focus group on the Facebook page. And until next time, I pray you have a sparkling week. Ciao.